when congressional elected representatives who received the best health care just because they got elected but then once they get elected, they don't want the people that elected them to have the same thing that they had. I am a wife. I am a mother of two young children. I'm in the ministry. And last June, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I work. My husband works more than full time. We have four degrees between us, but we've struggled. Without insulin, I will enter a coma and die. Without the Affordable Care Act, I cannot afford my insulin. Every year, thousands of Americans die simply because they do not have access to health care. That is why I rejoice when the Affordable Care Act was passed, extending coverage to those with pre-existing conditions who previously could have been denied health care, including myself. It is also why I am angered by those who deny access to others. I'm here because I only make $7.25 an hour, and I have two kids, and I'm a single mother. I have cervical cancer. I don't have Medicaid. I can't afford it, and I'm only getting sicker. This is not about the doctors. This is not about the nurses. This is about the patients. I am begging our lawmakers to see me, to see my family, and to see all of us that are in need. You are failing, North Carolina. There is enough to go around. Over the last seven years, under the ACA, 20 million Americans have gotten health care for the first time. It is under threat by our leaders in Washington and right here in Raleigh. We march for half a million people in North Carolina who today are without health care coverage because our state refused to expand Medicaid. We march for our patients whose voices are not being heard. And when you want to take health care because you despise a black president that did what you wouldn't do, and then you want to take that money and give tax breaks to the greedy, then bowing down and standing down is not an option.